44. Forty-five. Oh, what sort of angle has he got on the pink? He should be okay, yeah. Might just nudge that other red. Fifty-two. Needs to pull up. Just about. Gone slightly wrong. That little smile tells you there. He's going to have to get the rest out. Looks as if he's playing with a little bit more screw. And it's gone wrong. Where's the red going to finish? John Higgins, 58. Well, the pot itself wasn't easy. Decided to screw back off the second ball for blue. Uh, that type of shot One. there, that is where being able to play a left handed like Ronnie is, it's so useful in that type of shot. Straight away, he's gone into the four reds, and the reason he played that shot, he had the red over the middle pocket, just in case it went slightly wrong, but it didn't. It's perfect. And this would be Nine. a bit of a body blow. John Higgins was a fraction away from clinching this fifth frame. And he's got to just hope that Ronnie can make some sort of mistake here. 16. 70. Other than that awkward red, the one to the left of the cue ball now. I'm not sure if the green 24. passes to Brown. I'm a long way ahead of myself, but he'll, have, he'll already have thought about that, Ronnie. Tight. He may have to leave the green for the opposite Third. corner, but that will be in his mind already. 31. 39. He's the wrong side of the blue, though. He was hoping to leave an angle on the blue, and then I put two whites up either of those positions. He had a red to the middle, red to the corner. It's not on now. He's looking at the pink. So pink it is. This is the key shot here. Now, if that green, he's looking at the green now. If it doesn't go, he needs a good angle on the yellow after potting the blue. He must feel as if the green passes the brown, the way he's played that. 51. 53. What a steal this would be. As I said, John Higgins was just a fraction away from getting good position and clinching the frame. 56. Needs to pull up. 60. Well, he's going to have to travel in and out of the bark area now. Just blue and pink needed. <laughs> 65. Well, is it going to pull up in time? May not have done.
Tony O'Sullivan, 65. The pot was too thin to take on. Disappointed he would have been not to get better position from the blue. He's tried to double the pink, you know, into the corner pocket. He tried to get a good cue ball, but he actually tried a double into a corner pocket from that angle. What a tense frame after the mid-session interval. 58 from John Higgins, 65 from Ronnie O'Sullivan. Pink ball fight. Advantage, John Higgins with that shot. Yes, a basic shot for a player of his calibre. One and a half times across. This is tough to get safe. You've got to be so precise with this. That's what he played. And you can't be more preciser than that. You don't often see that. The crowd have suddenly realised what he played there. Yeah, it's a full ball ricochet. <laughs> He's left what we call a cocked hat double. Depending on whether Ronnie has a go, the pink could go into the right middle pocket. Sullivan regains the lead. Of three cushions, perfectly judged. 3 2 to O'Sullivan. Well, possible, please. Thank you. <coughs> 24. But watch the shot here. Because he's got the red, he'll go into the bunch here because it, they're not a good bunch to go into, but he'd be guaranteed the red that he's just going to. Off the black past. See, very clever there. He's opened three or four more reds. And straight away with the uh, pink out of commission. He could have taken the blue, but he hasn't gone far enough. But that was his plan there. <coughs> the blue back on its spot would have been 43. Quite useful there, but he can get back on the black here. 44. Quite some time ago, I mentioned that the red to the left of the pink will be available. 51. It's the last easy potable red. 52. And the blue is there. OK, he's covered the black. Bit. But if he takes the blue, he's got to come up between the green and the brown. And there is a red. the reason just a fraction Daniel short Sullivan. on the position John might take the double on here because he's 57 behind if he gets the double he could get himself back into this frame One. Well, Higgins lost the last frame from 62 nil can he win this one from Nil 57. Five. 
six. Eleven. Oh, he wants to be straight on this red. He doesn't want to have to cannon into the black. Should be okay, but... Yeah, well played. Well judged. Twelve. So I think his plan here would be uh, the blue, then the red into the middle, and hopefully get the black back on its spot. Twenty-four. So the key shot is going to be how he gets on that 31. last difficult red. Had enough angle to play for the blue. 32. Now he's just got to get down between brown and yellow. And as long as he doesn't finish tight on the cushion, he's got the chance. 37. And where's the red going to finish? John Higgins, 37. He needs it to go tight on this cushion. Uh, just forcing it to get... He could have done with a better angle on that red, and then he wouldn't have had to force it. It's such a key frame here. Quite a bit of distance involved there for Sullivan's attempt. And now that Higgins has potted the last red from distance, the way surely is clear to level the match at 3 all. Seven. Ten. The tension continues here at the Kelvin Hall. What a match we've got here. Fourteen. Nineteen. Pink and black needed. Anywhere near the circle, he'd be perfect. Twenty-five. The Sullivan led fifty-seven to nil. Lost position. Hasn't scored again. Thirty-two. Two scoring visits. Higgins has taken the frame on the black to level the match at three all. Forty-five. Slight problem now. He looks a bit straightish on the black. May be able to force it or screw it back, but he is straight as you can see. So he couldn't play for the pack. And if it passes the brown, that's a brilliant shot. If the red passes the brown, that's terrific. 52. <laughs> 
53. And this is the shot that could clinch the frame. If he can split the reds. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Well, we said at the start 61. of the match, Clive, we hoped that both players would play at the top of their game. They're playing pretty well. Yeah, pretty near it. Just the odd mistake here and there to spice it up. It's a thin snick required as a shot to nothing. He doesn't have to worry about position. Sixty-seven. Ronnie O'Sullivan, sixty-seven. Seventy-one in front. Foul four in the frame. Ronnie O'Sullivan. Higgins fails to back the escape and concedes. O'Sullivan is one up with two to play. That left handed for no apparent reason. the cue ball, Ronnie, where he intended. Oh, no. Easy Stop ball. Six. Must never miss those at this level. Yeah, you can just see his backhand there a little bit, so he didn't cue that smoothly. Maybe just put a little anxious one in there. He doesn't do it very often. They say, wiped his feet. Have a look at this. Any more pace, it wasn't going in. Where's the black going? There's plenty of room there. Eight. So this is a very good chance for Ronnie O'Sullivan. With a little bit of a kick there. Nine. O'Sullivan, 95% pot success rate. He's missed six reds, but no colours. 22. 23. As you can see, there's just three reds available, and then he's going to have to look for the cannon, opening the reds up. 31. Don't think the red to the left of that little bunch is available. 37. And that's a careless one. He's going to have to play for the single red now. He's left himself almost straight on the blue. So this is missable. 42. 43. Well, it's a good pot, but it's not quite the angle he was looking for. It would have to be a good shot. <laughs> he did it quite easily, but he's out of position, and I don't think there's a plant there. A bit unlucky. 50. In fact, he held it too much in the end. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 50. 
Red under the ball cushion. Yeah, there might be a shot on. Just looking at this, he might be able to get both these reds up past the black and leave Ronnie in trouble here. That was a bit careless from Ronnie. Oh, that's unlucky. If that white... Well, having said that, there's a red also gone towards the middle, but it's if it's dead straight, it's an awkward shot. But it was a good idea from John, but it didn't quite work out, but he could have put Ronnie in trouble. This is key pot here. It's not straight. One. That was a calculated risk by John Higgins. The right shot to play, but it just didn't come off for him. And you'd have to fear for the defending champion here, Clive. It looks like it could be all over. And Six. What a terrific match we've had. I thought we might have finished up with a deciding frame. Oh, and we might still do. What a shot to miss. Daniel Sullivan, six. Well, can you believe it? He thought he was in the next round. I mean, that is one of the easiest pots I've ever seen Ronnie miss. One. Well, that's a sitter each in this uh, eighth frame. And that wasn't down to pressure, that was down to pure concentration. That's all that was. Ronnie thought it's Eight. all over here. And he just queued across it slightly. Lack of concentration. Meanwhile, surely he's not snookered himself with the pink. He hasn't landed tight on the pink. Can he not get through to pot this red? Now, what? He's just... If it rolls back, it's fine. If it rolls back, it's fine. Yeah, I just said. Maybe, maybe at one stage he could see the red and suddenly the, the white's just rocked a little bit and there's not a lot you can do about that. And he potted. He could. Nine. But it's still not oh. ideal because if he drops the blue in, the reds are not available into the left corner. I'm not sure if one of the two reds goes to the right middle. He may have to force this. And that's what oh. can happen because he didn't get... He worried so much about hitting the pink John there nine. that he overhit the pot eventually, and then he had to force that in. But Ronnie, a firm favourite for this frame and match now, the fact that the blue's gone on the side cushion has the chance slipped away for the defending champion. That is very careless from Ronnie O'Sullivan. That is a terrible shot. One. Well, I don't know whether that was in part because uh, O'Sullivan was unsettled by missing that very simple red when he had a clear run to the winning line. Well, has John covered Four. the red? He has more mistakes in this frame than the rest of the match. John Higgins, four. Oh, he's a bit unlucky. He's got a terrific cue ball, but the other red has knocked that one towards the middle pocket. It's not, not an easy shot by any means, but it is a half chance here. If you're in behind the red, you couldn't miss it. It was a natural angle one to avoid 
the low value colours. Five. At a quick glance at the scoreboard, it doesn't really matter which colours he pots here. There will be enough on the table. It seemed like a heavy contact. Nine. Green when it goes back on its spot. made a mess of it he's going to have to go all the way around the angles and he's got to avoid the blue pink and black to get back around to the brown it's too hard it's much too hard 70 so this turning out to be quite a tense frame the defending champion still in there Ronnie should have been in the next round. John Higgins, 17. <laughs> Where's the cue ball? It's okay, very good shot. He may change his plan of shot here. And he did do, sent the brown around, and look at this for a shot. <laughs> this is over the pocket, is it? But how does he get to the blue? Well, there's a bit of angle. He could possibly swing it over towards the blue, but you wouldn't think so. He has a terrific shot. For Higgins has best possible position on the blue, but it's still not a certainty. And he needs pink and black as well. Oh, oh certainly what. <laughs> but at least Johnny he's got it four. safe. At least he's got it safe. Ronnie needs to put a good shot in here. That's not a good shot. That's a poor shot. Maybe the thin shot off the blue would have been better. This blue, effectively, then, for the match. his fellow Glaswegians because they're now expecting him to level the match at four all what a test it's going to be of Ronnie O'Sullivan's character Hi. can he get himself up for a deciding frame after what has happened here 11 
18, and Sullivan was about 50 in front when he had a great chance to clinch the match. He had another chance from distance on the blue, but it's Higgins who levels the match at 4 all. Now, can he see enough of the red? He can. Now, what a big test this will be. He's got to cue this one perfectly. There's the long pot success rate, 50%. He could do with one here. Doesn't want to hit the brown. And he has. It's a chance for John Higgins. <laughs> And it's a good chance. Look at the reds around the black. One. That's just about perfect. Four. Five. Knew he was always going to be on this red. He's developed a few more. 12. 13. 13. It's come up a little bit short. As long as he just slips past the red on the side cushion, he'll be okay. Always oh, gone close to the middle pocket. 21. But hitting the jaw has left it ideal. He was actually attempting to stun off the side cushion short of the middle pocket, got into it uh, too much. Yeah, that was just a little bit of adrenaline, as indeed that was. He's overdone it slightly again. 26. 27. A good recovery there. O'Sullivan knows that uh, Higgins is fully capable of winning frame and match at this visit. 29. And that is absolutely perfect. What a key shot that could be, splitting the reds. 30. Now just watch this shot. There was loose reds he could have played for took the opportunity to open them up. Just a few more pots away and he's 61. safely in to the next round. And I think Denise, 62, his wife and Josephine, his mum. They will be absolutely delighted. Yeah, happy times in the Higgins household. He deserves it. 70. He was given a reprieve, but he still had to take <clears throat> advantage of it. 77. 78. He's played an immaculate deciding frame. 85. He will be feeling so good 86. inside at what he's just done here in front of his home crowd here in Glasgow. We've seen last year when he won here, Clive, he was absolutely over the moon, but I think this 96. win in this match will give him as much satisfaction as winning the title last year. 94. Two great 
chance to clinch it, but Higgins took advantage of his reprieve in the deciding frame to go through to the quarterfinals, winner by five frames to four. O'Sullivan said, when I could deliver the cue on a straight line, I relish any game. And uh, he's certainly delivering his cue on a straight line today, left-handed and right-handed.